Welcome to the Flash Performance Garage where I can finally start fabricating again, thanks to my Cornwell guy. See, I've been having a little bit of issue with my plasma cutter and my welder, and they're just doing funky, funky things. So I got together with my local Cornwell guy and I got replacements. I got a new plasma cutter and a new welder, multi-process welder at that. I can't wait to show them to you, so stay tuned. There is no shortage of ways to cut metal in the industry. I mean, anything from a grinder to a sawzall to even your smaller portable torch sets, but nothing, nothing really can compete with the plasma cutter. And I have been struggling to try and find the right plasma cutter, not only one that I can afford, but also one where when I need consumables, I can get them. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, so to be able to get consumables quickly is a little bit of a challenge for me. So that's why I went with the Cornwell Quality Tools Plasma Cutter. So let's go through this unit and see what all comes with it. To start off, one of the first things that I liked about this unit is its dual voltage. It comes with a 220 plug, so you can plug it into your 220 outlet to be able to get the full power out of the unit. But if you have to go and you have to be on the road and maybe you don't have access to it, it also has an adapter cable to be able to run it on 110. And that just plugs right in and makes it a very simple switchover. The unit comes with a heavy grounding strap with a good clamp that's not flimsy and gonna fall apart, but it also comes with a really nice torch head. Now you'll notice that it has a little safety, the yellow safety there, so you don't have to worry about setting it down and it going off. We also have all the consumables included in the case. So you have the tips and the cup on this is really nice, it's not porcelain. So you don't have to worry about breaking the cup that comes on the tool. It's a good hard quality plastic with brass on the inside so you get a good contact and good penetration on your consumables. The unit itself is a very simple design. You have your pressure for your air that's going in and you have your voltage going out so you can adjust how much penetration you wanna have just with one simple knob. This is inverter based so it's very light and it can run like I said on 16 amp output or a 40 amp output depending on the plug that you have it plugged into. If we spin the unit around, You'll see we have our air inlet here. That's where we'll connect our air pressure. And on the top, you have your regulator for your air pressure. Some of the stats on this machine, like we said, it can run on 110 or 220. So at 35% duty cycle at 16 amps on 110, 35% duty cycle at 40 amps on 220, 230 voltage. It runs about four and a half CFM of compressed air at 60 PSI, so it doesn't use a huge compressor to be able to do the cutting with the plasma. And it weighs in at under 20 pounds with all the different pieces included. We can cut mild steel, stainless steel, galvanized, aluminum, copper, and brass. On mild steel, we can do an eighth inch to three eighths of an inch, and even up to a quarter inch on stainless steel, galvanized, and aluminum. So a very powerful machine in this little package. Very impressed, I can't wait to get this thing cutting. Now the unit itself is pretty basic. You have your air pressure gauge and then you have your knob to select your voltage. We're gonna go ahead and turn the unit on and we have our green light indicating that everything is working and that everything is running properly. But you're also gonna notice another light come on. You have a light down here at the end that indicates we have an issue. And that issue is we don't have enough air pressure. Our air pressure has to be over four and a half PSI. So we're gonna run up our air pressure. Once it hits four, you can see that our light goes out. We're gonna run that right at four and a half where desired. Whenever we see most torches on the market, you'll push on the, the torch and you'll hear the air come out. But what you won't notice is the plasma coming out or firing it up. So this actually has a pre-ignition and you can actually see that light come on at the same time. Which is really nice when you're cutting steel, you don't have to worry about trying to scrape your torch across the steel to be able to get your arc to kick. 
I'm very excited to get this thing working. I actually have a truck frame that I got to do right away to be able to cut and stretch a frame. And I didn't want to do it with a grinder, a sawzall, or even try and burn it down with a torch. So I can't wait to get my plasma cutter working. This is again from Cornwall Quality Tools. Your part number is an MMWP. 375 DVI and I'm going to put all the information in the description below. So make sure you give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe the page. That way you can see all the cool stuff that I have going on with the plasma cutter and the welder from the other video. Make sure you check that out too. I'm Chad from Flash Performance. We'll talk to you soon.